team, and welcome to On The Bean Bags with Ben and Luke. Cool. What are we going to talk about today, Luke? Uh, we're going to talk about the, um, the force-velocity relationship. We certainly are. Yeah. So step one, let's get Luke to draw it so we see what it looks like. So when we're drawing the force-velocity relationship, give us some axis to start with, Mr. Luke. That will be the Y, and this will be the X. Good. So what should we put on this axis? This will be force. And then this one? Velocity. All right. So if this is velocity, uh -huh. uh, what would this point on the velocity axis be? The isometric, uh, which we call zero. Yep. So if the velocity is zero, it's going to be an isometric contraction. Yep. Good. Now, let's put on our curve. Excellent. So now, could you label me which side is concentric and which side is eccentric? No worries, Ben. This is concentric. <laughs> and this is eccentric. All right, so uh, concentric, eccentric, where would isometric be? Isometric would be in the middle here. Good. Because isometric, iso means? Um, same or? Yep, same. Equal. equal? Yep, iso same, metric is a measure. So this is where we contract but don't move. And so that means we're at zero velocity. Good. All right, now explain it to me. So during a concentric contraction, as the... As the velocity increases, the force decreases. Good. And we know that's because of C for concentric, C for... C for cycle. Good, the cycling cycle, rate. Cycling rate. And then on an eccentric contraction, as the velocity... The velocity increases, the force increases. Good. So this is E for eccentric, E for... Elastic component. Good, the elastic component. Right, why is this important? How does this work in the real world? So if I want to generate a lot of force during a concentric contraction, mm -hmm. what's going to happen to my velocity? Um, so if I want a big force concentrically, my velocity is going to be... It's going to be shorter. Good, slow. Slow, yeah. Slow velocity for high force. Whereas if I want a lot of velocity during concentric contraction... You wouldn't need much force. You, there will be no... Good. My force would be, be compromised. So there's a trade-off. High forces can't be created at high velocities. So either we lift fast with a small force or we lift slowly with a big force. Good man. 